Hi, it's been a while since I've last uploaded a video. I took an unintentional break because I've been dealing with great personal loss. So thank you to those who have been so patient, to new friends who have come across my videos and left kind, encouraging comments. You probably didn't know at the time how much that meant to me. Um, so thank you. Thank you for being kind. The good news is for the last few weeks, I have been making these mushroom friends here. So I have plenty of content to catch you up on. This is going to be a casual, chill, cozy studio vlog. But I do have some tutorials and how-tos lined up for you very soon. Another update is that I recently hit 1k subscribers on YouTube and I just wanted any reason to celebrate something good. So I'm hosting a DTIYS or Draw This In Your Style challenge on Instagram and you can check out the rules in the caption of this post. Anyway, let's move on in this video. I hope you enjoy this experience of making these mushroom friends come to life. This isn't one of my how-to videos, but I still wanted to walk you through some of the process. I'm preparing the foundational bodies of all the mushrooms, but there are going to be different designs in the end. I'm preparing the mushroom caps. Some of them will be this red color, and some of them will be an orange yellow that you'll see later. Now, I'm making the tiny items that the mushrooms will hold. Here, I'm starting with what I found to be the hardest item to make, a book. Surprisingly, the simple straight edges make it difficult to sculpt because clay is very flexible and doesn't always hold that perfect line. Not to mention that I had to make the pages very thin. Other tiny items include acorns. I find this one so cute. And a tiny little cup that will hold coffee or tea or hot chocolate, whichever you prefer. I leave it ambiguous on purpose. Here, I'm just preparing the mushroom caps so that they'll fit onto the mushroom's head pretty easily. For the first time, I'm using rubbing alcohol to wipe off some dust, and let me tell you, it is magic. It might be hard to see, but here is a tiny speck of dust, and it gets wiped away. Now we're adding blush, which I love doing because it makes me feel like a makeup artist for these tiny mushrooms. They're ready to go in the oven at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Beep boop, it's ready. We're painting a bit of gradient on the mushroom caps like so. This one is darker in the middle, while this one is lighter in the center. Now we're painting white circles to finish the mushroom aesthetic. I'm making tiny flowers, which I meant to do before baking the mushrooms, but I forgot, so we're baking and gluing them on afterwards. Now I'm glazing all the mushrooms. Even though I liked the matte look before, I like using glaze because it assists in keeping the tiny pieces secure once the glaze dries. Here's the tiny face of the worm. It's there because this is our bookworm mushroom. And these are the final pieces, coffee mushrooms, bookworm mushrooms, and seasonal mushrooms because they kind of look like spring and kind of look like fall. Thank you for spending time with me. I hope you look forward to all the videos that are to come very soon. Till next time, bye!